My name is Dr. Vaughan Swart. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of the Free State. And um, recently there have been swarms of butterflies that have um, been swarming various cities and our country. And uh, I'd like to tell you more about these butterflies. The common name for these butterflies are brown-veined white butterfly, also known as the African caper white butterfly. Their scientific species name is uh, Bellinois aurota, um, and this was described by Fabricius in uh, 1793. Now Fabricius is a Danish guy and he was actually one of uh, Carl Linnaeus' students who um, came up with binomial nomenclature, which is the general name that is given to all living organisms, your genus and species. So these butterflies belong to the family Peridae, and it includes the, uh, which includes the African migrant, orange tips, and also band, banded gold tip butterflies, to mention but a few. Um, these butterflies are usually characterized by their shades of yellow and uh, orange as well. So the timing of the migration mostly depends on weather conditions, like we've recently had rainfall. Um, but a lot of the migration usually takes place from latish November uh, through to February. So this is a lot to do with the actual timing. Um, although their numbers do differ from year to year, and they are also dependent on climatic conditions. Well, they're important as a food source for various other organisms uh, in the ecosystem, which in turn play an important role in various ecosystem services for humans um, and are importantly part of our local biodiversity and also uh, very important in our natural heritage. They originate from uh, areas such as the west coast of South Africa, uh, the Karoo and also south, uh, southwest Kalahari, uh, which is where most of the breeding and egg-laying egg actually uh, occur. From here they start to migrate inland in a northeasterly direction towards Mozambique and on, also on the way to Madagascar, where they will end their journey and probably fall into the sea. Uh, they do not always follow the same route, although as they fly in a general northeasterly direction, um, more and more seem to join the flight uh, reaching up to a kilometer in the air. Uh, they are also known to lay eggs on their way uh, to, to Mozambique. The butterflies traveled mostly uh, from sunrise to dusk and they favored long grass um, and were particularly attracted to grass nectar. Uh, they don't return to maintain the population as eggs have already been laid at the point of origin um, and on the way. So in reality it is actually an immigration and not really a migration as they fly one way and then they basically die at the end of their journey. Besides an important food source or protein boost for various insectivorous birds and other predators such as other insects and spiders, they probably also play an important role in pollination on various indigenous plant species, but not much research has been done on this.